What is going on, Draw It To crew? Welcome to Draw It To. My name is Ramney, and this is another episode of How To Draw. Here in this channel, I help you develop your artistic skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from TV, movies, video games, comics, or books. So if this is your first time here and you want to see more videos like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to click that notification bell icon so that you guys are notified anytime I upload a brand new tutorial video. Are you ready to draw? Here are the tools that you'll need. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper and black ink pens for inking afterwards. We all draw at different speeds, so as you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause this video at any time so that you can catch up on your drawings. And if you find that this video is still going way too fast, remember that you can always hit that speed button at the bottom right of this video to slow it down. Also keep in mind, one more thing, results will vary. So if your drawings look a little different than mine, that is completely, completely acceptable as well. So having said all of that, let's get right to the tutorial. All right, you guys, so for this tutorial, I've got my paper in portrait mode. And uh, I'm not, I guess it doesn't really matter whether you do it this way or this way, because it's going to work out both ways. Um, we're going to start off with Michael's, Michael Myers' head. We're going to draw a circle right around the center, maybe a little bit uh, more this way. We're going to draw a circle like this. Okay, so it's about that much off at the top if you guys are using an A4 or an 8.5 by 11 sized paper. Now I'm going to have, I'm going to draw a center line and the head is going to be slightly slanted. So I've got this angle. Here's my, here's the pencil, here's up and down and it's at an angle about this much. Because we're going to have his head kind of tilted this way and then I'm going to, I'm just going to bring this down like this and then this this is the chin, and then this goes like this. Okay, here's the back. That's the neck right there, and here's the neck over here as well. Another thing with Michael Myers is he's wearing a mask, so the head and the neck is going to be a little bit... We're going to try to make it a little bit oversized. Too big, you know what I mean? So we're going to draw it like that. Now let's draw the body. We're going to start right here, right around here. And we're going to draw the shoulder rather steep that much, okay? And then over here, not as steep, so it goes this way. Okay, we're going to cut it off right around here. And we're just going to draw a line going straight down. It gets narrow a little bit, so it'll, it goes this way. So, um, yeah, make it, make it so that you're going to the left as you go down instead of going straight up and down. Okay, and then on this side, right around here, we're going to bring that down. And we're going to do this, and then out like that. Now he's going to be wearing his signature, like, jumpsuit. I guess you can call it jumpsuit. Um, and he's going to have a, a waist. Well, right around here, he's going to have his waist, okay? Now, before we continue, let's actually figure out where we're going to put the hand and then we'll figure out the rest. So he's going to be, he's going to be holding a fist up, and he's going to have a handle. Um, he's going to be holding the handle of a huge, like, 12-inch knife. So let's start by drawing a tiny little line right here. And then at the end of this one, we're just going to draw. We're just going to draw a line going down, like that. Okay. So here, let's draw kind of like a lopsided rectangle. And don't make it too big. I'm actually making it too big right now. Don't make it any, like, don't make it super big, okay? Look at it in proportion to the size of the face. The face is about that big. You want the fist to be an appropriate size. So we're going to make it like that. That's it. That's what I mean by a lopsided rectangle. Okay, right here, kind of, here's one edge of the rectangle. Here's the corner of it. Move up a little from there. Draw a line going down, and then a line going this way. Okay? And then, kind of close that off. So that's like the back of the hand here. It's this thing. And then let's draw the wrist, and the wrist goes down like this. Okay? Now the wrist is going to be covered, of course, by the sleeve. 
I'm going to start over here, actually up here. And I'm just going to draw a circle. Or just this loop that goes around that covers this thing, covers the, the sleeve. Okay, so we've got that. And imagine now he's going to be holding a knife. And it goes from here. Okay, so where his fingers are, imagine the handle of the knife going kind of right around here. That handle is going to look like that. So here's the handle of the knife, and imagine it going, going across the fingers. And then it comes out over here, like this. Here's the two lines to show the top of the knife, and then one line down here that shows the side. Okay. Continue this all the way. All the way this way. Now it depends on, I guess this really depends on the angle that you have his hand. So you can have the, you can have the knife going this way, or it can be going down this way. That's fine too. Or it could be going this way. That's fine too. It's just a, all a matter of how you have this hand um, uh, situated. Well, I'm at a loss for words today, you guys. Okay, so I'm just going to draw a straight line going this way. And maybe around here, I'll start to bring it down that much. Okay, and then right here. Actually, you know what you should be doing is you should be drawing a 90 degree angle from this. So if you have your knife going this way, lengthwise, you should have a 90 degree angle going this way. And that is the width of your knife. Okay, so this here should make an L shape, and this right here should be 90 degrees. Okay, that's where it's going to go. Now draw a line going parallel, and then going up like this. I'm going to change this because you want the curve at the bottom of the knife to be more, what do you call it? It's less prominent, and then this one is more abrupt like that. So it goes straight line and then a, a smooth natural curve and then here it's a straight line and then you start the curve over here. So that's what that looks like. I didn't expect the knife to be a little difficult but uh, I guess it kind of is. Okay so we've got the knife. Let's start figuring out where his arms are going to go. So his, his shoulders are going to go right behind him and let's just work on where the elbow is going to go. So I'll start over here. And the elbow is going to go right around here. And this goes in like that. Okay, now let's go over here. I'm going to bring that elbow down or that shoulder down a little bit. And his arms are going to be formless. In other words, we don't really see the shape of his arm. We see the sleeve. Comes out this way. And then it pretty much just goes straight down. And what I'm going to do, what I'm going to be doing, is I'm going to be cutting off, cutting it off right around here. I don't need to go any, I'm not going to go any lower than that, you guys. So that's where I'm going to end my drawing. There you go. So let's work on that jumpsuit. And let's bring this line. Okay, so you guys, you guys keep a note of where you're drawing the waist. You kind of want the waist to be right around where the elbow is. That's where it gets the skinniest and then it goes, puffs out again. And then it just goes straight up behind the hand. There you go. And as always, you guys, if you guys are having difficulty following along, make sure you hit that pause button and there you go. Take a look at the picture and try to make the proper adjustments. Okay. Jumpsuit. Start over here. This collar goes this way. And then from here, this goes up. And imagine it going this way. We're going to draw it up like this and then this way. And then he's going to have his collars popped up. So from here, I'm going to draw a line kind of going upwards like this, all the way to 
and it sort of runs to the back of his of his uh, neck there. So that's what that looks like. And then from here, we're going to draw a line going towards the shoulder like this. And then those collars are not, they're not ironed, so they're messy. That's what that looks like. Okay, from here, we're going to draw a line going up. Let me zoom in. Line going up, and it goes out like this. And this is the corner of that collar. And then the rest of the collar kind of just goes like this. Okay, now let's go over here. Let's uh, fix that collar on that side. Actually, we're gonna, before, before we do that even, let me zoom out and continue this line going down. Okay, through your knife, all the way down like this. Now let's go over here. From here, this goes out this way. In. And then goes up. Here's the corner of that collar. And then goes around to the other side like that. So we're left with these two popped collars that Michael Myers wears around his mask. So here's the mask. The neck of the mask kind of goes like this. And what you want to do is over here, you want the mask to overlap over the collar like that. Okay, here's the t-shirt. Drawn two lines. Those are gonna be black if you guys care to color it in. There you go. And before, you know what? Before we even work on the face, why don't we just add the little details on the um, on the jumpsuit already. So here I'm going to draw a line going up and down, going this way, up to here, like that. Double up on these lines so that they look like, you know, they're stitching. Okay, right around here he's gonna have this, like the tight part of the jumpsuit. Almost acts like the waist. And it looks like that. Okay, one square pocket on this side and then another square pocket on the other side. And I'm just doubling up on the seams again to make it look like stitching. And then again on this side, like I said, depending on where you put your knife, you might need to adjust certain things, which shouldn't be too hard. There you go. Seam here at the shoulder. I'm gonna draw two. Two over here at this shoulder as well. Like that. And one over here, a pretty large one. Now the thing with his uniform is it's not ironed and you see you can draw these up, up and down little detailed lines. The trick is to be random with them and spreading, spreading them out. Okay, over here. Just gonna draw that kind of curve. Like I said, you don't really see much of the arm. Okay, here, it goes out like this. There you go. Let's we'll just leave it like that. We're gonna add some lines to it, and there you go. Now on this side, right here, I'm going to make this line continue like this. And this is gonna be like a little strap with a 
with the line going down like this. So this is going to be like the like a little strap that you can adjust the size of your your um, cuff, I guess. There you go. And this goes back up. Some wrinkles here. Okay, and for this, let's not make this too smooth. There you go. Added some wrinkles from the armpits going that way. Okay, now before I work on the hand, I'm going to tackle the face. Okay, so many of you guys might not know that the original Michael Myers mask is supposed to be um, William Shatner as a Captain Kirk. I believe it's Captain Kirk. But uh, yeah, that's what it is. And I can, I can definitely see William Shatner in Michael Myers. I don't know if you guys can. But they've, I think, after after the first initial mask, which is what we're doing, by the way, I think they've moved away from trying to make it look like Michael Meyer, uh, Mike, from trying to make it look like um, William Shatner. Anyway, so here's that line. I erased that bottom of the circle that we did initially. And now we're going to try to figure out where to draw the eyes and the mouth. Okay, so here's the line. The eyes are going to be large two eye holes, and we're not going to shade them in, so I'm going to draw one there. It's narrow here towards the bridge of the nose, and it gets wider as you come out, okay, over here on the other side, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade that in, so it kind of looks like a, if you guys have seen what an avocado seed looks like, that's kind of what it looks like, not a not an oval, not an egg either. There. From here, here's the nose. The nose is kind of pointy. So we leave a point and going down like this. That, that doesn't look too good. Hang on a second. <laughs> Looked better when I was practicing earlier. Okay, pointy nose, I'm going to draw a nostril here and a nostril over here and it's going to be touching that, that uh, like we made a little L shape here, it's going to be touching that bottom part of that L. So that's what that looks like. And then over here, just to the side of the nose here and then the side of the nose on this side. Okay, now Michael Myers mask does have this, that... Um, those two lines, and it kind of does have this cheek, saggy cheek look here and here. So you want, you want to make sure you have those. Okay, now the trick is you want to bring this low. And the thing with the Michael Myers mask is this thing is pretty, pretty wide. I'm going to erase that line. So you bring the, you bring the lip low. Like that. Okay, so now here for the lip, I start off with this, I create a V, and then I make an M out of that. So one line this way and another line this way. There you go. And then a line going across, now that's the upper lip, and then a line at the bottom, fairly thin line at the bottom, and then try to make um, to and then try to do the lower lip, but you don't want to close it off because what happens when you close off the lower lip is it's going to start looking like a like a female lips and you don't want you don't want to create female lips not on Michael Myers anyway you don't want to make him effeminate looking because he's supposed to be a uh, scary okay so there you go another line down here for the chin and let's make that chin a little bit more prominent. So I'm going to bring it down a little more. Like that. All right. Now over here, I'm going to fix that up. 
I don't want this to be too high. I'm going to bring this down and then I bring it in. Okay, right here. You also don't want the face to look like an ordinary face. You want it to look wide, like it's like it's a mask being worn on top of a normal sized face. So once you guys have this, this is pretty much the Michael Myers look. All right, let's add some some eyebrows, expressionless eyebrows. And there you go. Let's add some bags under the eyes. Let's make this one a little bit more prominent. Bring those down. There you go. So we've got that face down now. Let's draw the ear. The ear is going to be off. I'm going to draw it kind of like this. So the, the ear is going to be purposely, I mean, the ear is supposed to kind of be right around here, but because it's a mask, a rubber mask, I'm going to draw the ear kind of not where it's supposed to go. Okay, here's the top curve. I like to draw two curves underneath that. And then the bottom curve now, like this. Okay, there you go. And you only see a little sliver of the ear on the other side. Now let's work on the forehead. It's got a pretty wide forehead, you guys. And then the hairline is going to be, doesn't look natural. It looks like, you know, uh, the hairline on a rubber mask. Like that. And then here, it kind of goes like this. And it goes above, above the ear. Okay, once you got that, erase your guidelines. Now the hair, we'll start over here and then end over here. The thing with the hair is it just abruptly ends right here. And then I'm just going to draw a line going like this. It doesn't go any lower than that. And the hair is frizzy and works its way up. And it's pretty thick too. And I'm probably going to continue adding texture to the hair with an ink pen instead. But if you guys are going with a pencil, make sure you create like frizziness. It's not quite straight. The trick with doing hair is patience. And then down here, the hair just falls down as well. Like that. There you go. I think we got it. And that's that, you guys. Zooming out now. Oh, we forgot to do the hand. Let's do the hand. Okay, so let's bring this line back because that's going to be where we're going to line up the knuckles. And then draw another line over here like that. That's where we're going to end the finger divisions, I guess. So I divided that into four, um, four fingers. Of course, you want the pinky to be the tiniest one. Now shape each finger, one, two, three, four, a knuckle for each finger, just like that. Okay. 
wrinkle here and here. Okay, so it looks like he's brandishing this huge kitchen knife. Okay, and the particular kitchen knife he's holding, um, he's got these, the handles have these metal circles on them, like that. And then draw a line over here. This is like the wooden part of the handle. And here's the metal part. Okay, and I'm going to draw another line right here. Zooming out now. We're pretty much done, you guys. What you want to do if you want to add some blood and stuff on the knife is just very randomly draw these stains. And if you guys did, if you guys have seen my Chucky tutorial, uh, I do this exact same thing. And then I just layer more stains on top. And where they overlap, I just shade that in. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> okay. You could add some blood dripping. You can also add some blood spatter on his shirt if you guys really want to, like I did with Leatherface. And you do the same thing, you know, just adding... adding multiple layers of stains and then shading in where they overlap. Like this. Just like that. And you can add as much or as little as you want. Totally up to you. The reference photo that I actually used for this drawing, he's, he doesn't have any stains at all. There you go. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave it at that, you guys. Once you have that all drawn up, then you have yourself a serial killer named Michael Myers from the Halloween movie franchise. I hope you guys have enjoyed my Halloween tutorials this season. Um, this is going to be the last one, so definitely wait until next Halloween for more Halloween related monsters. I hope you guys enjoyed my Halloween tutorials. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And that is all the time that we have for this tutorial video. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end. If you are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So there's three different ways that you can send your drawings my way. Number one, you can post it in the Google Plus community for me to see and for everybody else in the community to see. You can also post it on Instagram and tag me, or you can email it to me at drawto at gmail.com. I look forward to seeing all of your artwork. Now, if you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a kit dot com link down in the description below. Make sure to check it out and find out what I use to run this YouTube channel. Now what you see right here is me inking this artwork. If you want to see a longer version of this inking process, make sure to head on over to patreon.com slash draw it to to become one of my patrons. This is one of the perks that you get. And uh, if you guys do want to support this channel even more, yeah, make sure to head on over to patreon.com. There's different rewards that you will receive if you do decide to um, support me through Patreon. If you're curious about other ways to support this channel and to keep it sustainable, I have merchandise that you can purchase such as t-shirts, mugs, and mouse pads. And you can also buy some of my art prints in my art store, my online art store at draw2.storeenvy.com. Be sure to check out my art store often because I regularly post brand new stuff that is available for you guys to purchase. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you guys liked this video, commented below, or shared this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website draw2.com where you can download a whole bunch of coloring pages from the tutorials that are found in this channel. Finally, before I go, I want to say thank you to these lovely people who have decided to become my patrons. And yes, thank you so much to all of you. And thank you for watching. And as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next video.